Embarcadero's C++ Builder is a great environment for both C and C++ programming on Windows. If you haven't already got a copy, well, you can download a free or a commercial edition from the Embarcadero website. And that will give you everything you need to follow this course. C++ Builder has a powerful code editor and a debugger. And for C++ programmers, it even has this drag and drop visual designer which lets you just create user interfaces by dropping controls onto a form like this. Now, we won't be coding any C++ in this course, and we won't be using the Visual Designer, but if that's of interest to you, well, C++ Builder comes with a lot of C++ sample projects that you can try out. But for this course, you'll need to create C projects. So, let's see how that's done. Start a new project, select File, New, and then as we're not interested in C++, I'm going to select Other. All the projects in this course are going to be console applications. So here I make sure that console application is selected as the project type, and I'll click OK. Now I have to choose between C and C++. Well, obviously I want C, so I'm going to click the source type option as C, and then I click OK. Now, by default, C++ Builder calls its main function, that's the one that's run first when the program itself is run, it calls it underscore T main, and you can see that here. This is sometimes used in some C++ projects that need to ensure Unicode compatibility by defining alternative versions of the main function, but for our purposes, it's of no real significance. You can see that here, underscore T main, has been hash defined to main. And that means that as far as we are concerned, it's the same as the regular main function. So now I can go ahead and just edit the source code. I'm going to go into the main function and write some source code. So I'll just display hello world. And there we are, we're all ready to go. And you can run the project by clicking this button here, or you can debug it by clicking this button. Now, when I use the debugger, I can put breakpoints in my code by clicking in the margin. So let me click in the margin here. And that adds that breakpoint, you can see, which is marked in the margin. And when the program runs and it hits the breakpoint, it will pause to let me examine variables and, and values. So let's run the debugger. And indeed, the code pauses when it hits the breakpoint. And here in the output window, I can see that everything's working as I expect to. And if I click the debug button again, then it will continue running the program, in this case, until the program exits. Now in the next lesson, I'll show you how to create C++ Builder projects from the C source code supplied in the code archive of this course.